Hey, what's up? It's Brian from JMP Cycles. And we all know brakes on your motorcycle are important, but sometimes they don't always look the best. And replacing new calipers can sometimes be costly in upwards of over $1,000. Luckily, Arlen S has you covered with a new caliper body. Now, this isn't just a plug and play, unbolt and rebolt on install. It takes a little bit more involvement. And what that is, is taking out the internals of your stock caliper and placing them in this. It's really not too bad, and we're gonna walk you right through it. Let's get started. Now, in order to get our stock caliper off, I'm gonna go through a couple steps here. First, we need to remove this heat shield here. That'll allow us access to both the caliper housing bolts and the retaining pin. But while this is still mounted, let's break open the bleeder screw and break all these bolts loose. That way it's easier to do so while it's still attached. Now, when you undo this banjo bolt and this bleeder, you're probably gonna see some brake fluid loss. I would suggest getting a rag and some gloves. That way you don't get any of the fluid on your hands. It's pretty corrosive. Make sure to block off this line so you don't get any brake fluid dripping in your work area. Once we get to this point, we can set this down and start opening it up and get to work. Let's remove this retainer pin. So that we can pull out the brake pad pin. Once you take your brake pads out, set them off to the side as we're gonna reuse these later. Now let's break the caliper in half by removing these three bolts. Notice when you split the two halves, there's gonna be this O-ring in here. We wanna keep track of that and don't lose that. Next, we need to remove these piston cups. Now, very carefully, take some type of pliers and a rag because we don't want to mar this up. It doesn't take too much pressure, but these are kind of vacuum sealed in here. Behind these, there's two O-rings and some brake fluid. With your piston cups removed, now there's two O-rings in each of these uh, piston holes. There's a lower and an upper. There's gonna be a thick one and a thin one. We need to remove those. So if you're going to reuse these, carefully with a pick, pry them out. With your new nest caliper in hand, take your O-rings, facing the same direction that you took them out, and install. Now when you do this, you want to lubricate these with brake fluid only. Now every bike and model year might be a little different for those watching, so make sure you check in your owner's manual for the correct brake fluid recommendation. When reinstalling these, make sure that the larger of the two seals is placed on the bottom. Now it is pretty easy uh, to locate because there are two different size rings around here. Now with your O-rings in place, let's put some brake fluid on our cups and then press them in.
with the one half complete, let's move on to the other side. Now your Arlen S caliper will come with an additional O-ring here. So if they're already installed, great. If not, you can reuse the Harley OEM one or install it with the Arlen S. Now that I have both halves of the caliper installed, let's put it back together and mount it. Now before I tighten these up all the way, I'm just gonna make these hands snug now because we wanna Loctite these. But before we Loctite them and torque them down, it's easier to do it while the caliper's mounted. Good little trick for your brake pad retainer pin. This little hump is where the cotter pin goes through. With our caliper mounted, now let's back these bolts out a little bit, throw some blue Loctite on them, and then torque them down. With your caliper secure and all bolts locked, tighted, and torqued down, now we can reattach our brake line with our stock banjo bolt. Don't forget to use your new crush washers when threading your banjo bolt back in. The last step to finish this all up is bleed our brakes and put on the cap. Now with your top secure, your install is done. Make sure you give it one last wipe down to ensure you don't have any excess brake fluid that could be harmful to both paint or plastic. When you do this job, make sure you have brake fluid and make sure you know the correct brake fluid for your bike type. Whether it's DOT 3, 4, or 5, your bike does require a specific fluid and it's usually uh, put right on top of the cap here so you know exactly what to get. When you head over to jpcycles.com and you're looking for these calipers, make sure you enter your bike fitment so you ensure you get the right part the first time you order. Now that you know how to install them, feel free, go ahead and do it yourself and get out and ride.